Hello, biology students. Today we're going to talk about ecological levels of organization, which is the scale of looking at different creatures and the environment. This is still theme one, topic one, ecology. And then now we're in the fourth set of our notes, writing them down in our spiral. To give us some context, when we mean levels, we mean size or scale. So the smallest size is gonna be the individual organism. And then we can have a lot of those creatures and we move up. I don't suggest you draw this out. Instead, we're gonna write down the definitions together but just to give you an, a visual we're talking about how in the environment we could really zoom in on one creature and over time we could zoom out and out and out even farther this is just so we as scientists can have conversations about different sizes of the environment and the creatures and other things in it so at the smallest scale is where we'll start, the smallest level. So we'll title our, our heading, ecological levels, smallest to largest, just so we can kind of know our number one thing is gonna be the smallest level. Okay, so our first level, number one, is an individual organism. If I'm looking super zoomed in, think about a camera, you're zooming in really far into the environment, as close as you can get. Your camera would see one creature. For example, maybe we're only looking at one deer, and we call that looking at the individual organism, and that's going to be a definition. Uh, for this vocab word, just a living thing, because the word organism means living thing. And the next thing is gonna be a kind of taking a zoom out from just that one deer. And when we have more than just one deer, we literally just have many deer. That's what we would do if we zoomed our camera out. And we call this level no longer an individual organism because there's more than just one deer, right? And we would call this a population. So number the next definition two. Population, making sure we highlight the word population since that's a vocab word. And now we put our definition. A population is a group of organisms of the same species, living in the same area at the same time and can interbreed, which means they can make babies or reproduce. Now, all of these creatures, again, we note they're all deer, but this says not only are they the deer, they have to be the same type of deer, the same species. And they're all in the same era. That's why I like to think about it as I could hold my camera and see them all through the camera lens because they also had to be there at the same time. And if they wanted to, I guess we might be able to catch them making babies on camera, but we can just assume that these guys have the ability to do that for right now. Okay, and now we can zoom out even farther, and the next thing, getting a little bit bigger than this, would be, now we don't just have deer, we can see them in the background, they're more like gazelle in this picture. We also have zebra, right? And we have different sorts of grass things living here. We call this a community, that's our third definition. Community means multiple populations living together in the same area. So no longer just deer, now we have another type of creature coming into the picture. If not, maybe two or three types of creatures, but all the things in a community are living. Now we're gonna zoom out even past this. So you might ask yourself, okay, now we have lots of types of creatures, what would we possibly add when we zoom out even further? Well, now, what we're gonna have is many deer, many wildebeest, and now we also have soil, rocks, and water. Well, that's kind of interesting because hopefully we've been writing our examples down. If we haven't, pause, go back, and make sure you're writing examples for each of this. We have the fourth level, even bigger than everything else so far, and we call that the ecosystem. And the ecosystem definition has two parts. Ecosystems include biotic, that's a vocab word previously meaning living, but they also have abiotic factors. So before we only had living things, but now we're starting to include not only the biotic things, but in our example, we also have the abiotic things. So we're now gonna also list in our example, the water, the rocks, the soil, some of the things that weren't really necessarily included 
um, formally in our last definition. So this is really an important one because I think on a test or a quiz, a really good question would ask an ecosystem, does it include abiotic things? And the answer would be, yeah, it does. It includes all the things in the environment, unlike community that just had living things. Okay, we're gonna zoom out even farther. Now we're gonna do biome the largest group of ecosystems. So now we have lots of things of similar types of characteristics, like rain, temperature, sunlight. So we could have a lot of creatures and their sunlight or rain amounts. And if it's a big area, we would give it a name like desert, lots of area with little rain, certain types of plants like cacti, um, tons of sunlight, all same type of characteristics and we group all the area of creatures and environment that's the same a biome and this biome is called desert similarly we have other ones that have more rain a little less sunlight a little bit more moderate temperature and that would give us a forest right and we can categorize these things of similar abiotic and biotic things and we call it a biome and then we're gonna zoom out even farther for the next and last one. So we might ask yourself, wow, we're like desert, that's pretty big. Well, the next one's really big, isn't it? So the next one is a biosphere. And really, that's all the area of the earth that would support life. So now we're talking about not just the deserts, but now lump in deserts and forests and other types of areas that all living things could live. And that is all of our different levels of ecological organization, where we started very small, and let's practice. We'll, we'll practice instead of with deer, with fish, okay? We started really small. You don't have to write this one down to see if you're understanding. We started with a small individual organism, just like Nemo, right? With one little fish. And what came next after individual organism? Then came population. And in this case, when we're thinking about fish, the population would just be many fish of the same species, right? I only wanna circle the orangey colored ones here. Um, and then after population, what came next? Community, lots of fish and other living things, but they can be different species now. And then after community came Ecosystems, now we're including the sunlight, the water, the rocks, right? Because now we can include abiotic things. And then past that, we would have to zoom in even past this picture to all biomes of aquatic type, okay? Like marine biomes, like the coral reefs. And then we'd zoom out even farther to the earth. We will practice these vocab words next class, but I'm really proud of you for getting through your notes. Wonderful job.